Welcome back. This is chapter 5th, Princess September, and I'm here with all the exercises from this chapter. First up, we have the word meaning. So, here we go. First one, peculiar, strange, handy, immediately available. Oriental countries are far east. Converted, console or bring cheer to. Stuff and nonsense, senseless talk. Hop, jump, bounce or spring. Number seven, glided, drifted or floated. Bow, bend. Head or upper part of the body as sign of respect. Saucer, dish or plate. Perch, place where a bird sits or rests. Sentiment, emotion, admirable, commendable or praiseworthy. Vexed, worried. Glam, sad. Lark, a kind of songbird. Dreadful, frightful or horrible. Charming, attractive. Absurd, ridiculous or foolish. Ominously, threateningly. Uneasy, nervous or on edge. Snares. Traps for catching birds or animals. Fancy, bent or inclination. Alighted, come down. Anxious, worried or concerned. Circumstances, state of affairs or situation. Remark, comment or observation. Thumb, hit, or beat. Popped in, pushed in. Ivory, to long external teeth of an elephant. Prowling, moving about quietly. Dawn, daybreak, first light in the sky before sunrise. Dew, tiny drops of water that form on cool surface at night. Slip, scape, fawn up, having a liking for, sulking, to be silent and refuse to smile to people because of anger. Obstinate, stubborn, or adamant. Next, be rid up, be free up, startled, surprised or shocked, cheerful, happy, sob, cry noisily or weep, sill, a slab at window opening or doorway. And the last one is maids of honor, that is women attending the princes. So with this we conclude or the word meaning.